Comes down to wire the car, put to put an engine harness in the car, forgets the engine harness. I forgot to tell you guys the big news. A whole paint job? Well, I'm with it, honestly. Drop in the comments, should he paint a 60,000 mile car? This is a race car, not a show car. It's not a, street, it's not a race car. If you guys had a 60,000 mile house, are you guys painting it? Answer the question. Going off to paint, baby. Do you paint a 60,000 mile car? <laughs> would you uh, paint a 60? This one I always talk about, you know, like details. 60,000 miles, why would you even paint it? I'll tell you one thing though. The cars do fire up on the first try every single time, but no problem. Ooh, baby. Can't, can't, can't show them too much. It's gonna be a lit ass summer. <laughs> What's up YouTube? So today's a big day. Waiting for my boy Savi to get here so we can wire the car. Yo, how long have we been waiting for Savi to get here? Probably like five hours. Dominican time. Dominican time. Oh, speak of the devil, huh? You finally want to show up now? Yo, what time do we call you? Nine o'clock. What time is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're always late, bro. <laughs> but so far, we uh, we had to change the injector plugs on here. We're gonna next, uh, change the TPS plug as well. I'm gonna go with a Mustang TPS. I'm gonna run the fuel pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor in the back. Two fuel pumps, speed sensor in the back. Rear wheel speed, so we're gonna run the wire. I just have to put a plug on here. Jerrick is gonna weld the bracket over here. We're gonna run it to the back of the wheel studs. I also ran the fuel pump wire to, I ran it out the Factory location down below. There's a ground down there as well. Check this out. My boys even hooked me up with a fuel level sensor wire. So that's gonna work on a dash as well. Real street car stuff, you know? End up going to Fuel Tech 550. Yo. What's up, baby? You guys decided to show up to work? We're not working today. This, so, this so these uh, guys. Uh, work this is overtime. My oh boy does got his PJs on. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we ended up going to Fuel Tech 550. They were talking shit to me no, earlier. No. He's hyped about it, right? What happened to 600? Yeah. I oh, thought no. we discussed on 600. He wanted to keep his car on a K Pro. But, anyways. Oh, put the camera. If you guys are on a K Pro, bro, it's 2023. Just upgrade, bro. Upgrade, right? Upgrade. upgrade. It's time to upgrade. Get yourself a 450. And then got the new Nano. Too fancy, huh? He didn't like the old Nano because it had red in it. So, we ended up having to buy a new one, which is like 100 bucks more. Is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. Check out that new Nano, huh? Yo, looking at the bed, right? Does it look like he got OCD? Mm -hmm. I already gave him the... Why well, the connect? The, I gave him the red and the two black ones. So, so I said, don't want the red, he said he I do want black, the black. I'm positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they even hooked me up with the water pump plugs, radiator plug. I'm gonna put the relays on the inside of the car. I gotta get something on camera real quick. Savi, right? What? I, I was just talking he comes down to wire a car for us. Forgets what? The whole engine harness in Massachusetts, which is two and a half hours, three hours away. <laughs> comes down to wire the car, put, to put an engine harness in the car, forgets the engine harness. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to explain to YouTube what you're doing over here? You don't know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I'm trying him. to figure that out. Little fuse box, a little fuel pump. What else is going the in fan there? Fan setup. Fan? It's fan and fuel pump? Yeah, you guys set me up, told me it was just a fuel pump. Remember the time you wired my car and forgot the relays back at home too? Yeah, don't forget to push those in hard, right? You're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best wiring guy yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah. It's, a, it's a miracle he's actually putting those in. You want to tell him the story? <laughs> he no, just said it right now. Oh yeah, he forgot all the relays. He went, <laughs> he went to start his car after he wired it. And it wouldn't even do anything. And then we finally found out. We looked in the, re in the relay box and there was no relay. After we checked the whole car. Ripped the whole car apart. Like, yeah, there's got to be fuses in the fuse box. No, I ain't no fuses in a brand new fuse box. He still only stick dinner for that. It's been like five years. This is your wiring guy's favorite wiring guy. That's definitely true. It's not my favorite wiring guy though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though. The cars do fire up on the first try every single time with no problem. When there's relays. <laughs> so check this out. So I'm going with the ID 2600s. 
and they had to re repin it, put new plugs in it. I like that. It looks better than before. Before the other person had the wires coming through here and jumping across the runners. Now it comes between the runners. Wiring is pretty much buttoned up. It's looking like a car though. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's looking good. Jerk, what'd you say at the beginning of the, the whole build process? Gonna the motor's gonna, gonna, gonna go in, it's gonna, it's gonna look the same for months. And then one day it's just gonna start up. One day on the video it will start up, but it is getting closer. Honestly, it's pretty much almost done. On our end, and the car's gonna go off the fab, but uh, show them what we did. Huh, I'll show Yo, he shot the cat for putting the on your brake pads. Let me show Yeah, he, he, painted them. he painted He painted them black. He painted the yellow pads black. I didn't paint the rotor. <laughs> no, oh, the you dimples were silver. Why'd you do that? Because after a while, the dimples are gonna rust out. I didn't want to see rust on the inside, so Dude, I painted This one's got problems, yo. They came! You, got, you gotta think ahead. The rotors bro. came black. You have to think ahead. This car's never gonna sit outside. You got rust in between oh, here, right? No, there's no <laughs> rust in between there. What are you talking about? That's gonna look all black. It's okay. I need to get you guys to paint. Would you guys have painted it? He painted the whole rotor black. Like in between those dimples are supposed to be like silver in between the holes and the lines. I don't know. I like black. It's murdered out. Jared, what you looking at? He put, he, he put new hardware on there too, all, all new right, pins. Anyways, let's show them what we did over here. So Jared mounted the- We seen the fuel pressure, pressure regulator. regulator. Okay. So I put a 90 on here. Put the camera inside there, not on me. So I put a 90 right here, so I can plug my sensor in down here. It look nice. And you got a black fitting I too? Put the wire over here, boom. You guys get the idea? Talk about OCD. Clock the, the turbo. I got downpipe. downpipe is on. Dump tube. Dump tube is on. You know what I like the most about the whole thing? It looks, mil the mil spec and the, the K-Tune cover to cover the wires and then the oil feed line. Yeah, because Super uh, clean. other people usually put a bracket right here and run, run along the valve cover, but... Check that out. I'm gonna put this light on now. It's, that's too I actually clean. like the, um, on the street car, I actually like the mill spec on this side because on our race car, they usually do it over there. But you got the turbo on the downpipe, you got a lot of heat on that side. So I actually like the harness being on this side of the car. So and what's, what's left out, though? Maybe? We even got our oil pressure sensor mounted. Can't see. It's hard to see from up this angle. And this is gonna be my wideband. So this car is almost, com not almost, but it could definitely be a roller because we got all the brakes and rotors. Missing intercooler, pipe, small small bit of fab work. The people want to see, whoever's building cars wants to see how like stuff is done. So we put the injectors in. But we got a set of ID 2600 CC injectors. You think you're gonna make a thousand wheel? No, I'm gonna bust that ass. We're gonna we're gonna make a thousand wheel when he's not around. It's me and you on the weekend. Then we'll turn it back down to seven for him. I remember you promised us what four Steelys, right? Yeah, the four. What, 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 already mad. You what, got rid of the hubcaps. Uh, like what? What he promised us? Four wheel burnout, and so did you, and you let me down on that. No, no, I I'm gonna come I'm through. I'm gonna come Hold through on, with that. Now, but I, I promise see you. Side by side. Yes. Oh, you know what the best part is for you guys watching? I got a downpipe, not a hood exit. Oh, they did want a full exhaust. I got but, a pipe, baby. Can we put a zoomie right here? And then we'll put like a V-band and... No I'm gonna blame YouTube on the, on the exhaust situation because I was all for the hood exit. My brother was not for it and neither were you guys. Check out the detail though. I don't know, some people are gonna talk shit why I went with a stock caliper, but the wheels that I chose for this car, I can't go with a big caliper. So unfortunately, I gotta run stock calipers in the front. So that's why we went kind of OD on the rotors and the pads. Check out the, hold on, check out the detail here though. This, I love this, mid plate, powder coated. Detail is fire. Yo, did they undercoat, they undercoated the bottom for you? Finally. How many, how long? how long? It's been four days? Four days, we finished what, Thursday? Yeah, we finished on Thursday. Check it out. This nice, looks huh? like nice and factory. This is clean. Real nice. Very nice. Very nice. Got fuel pump wires here in the back, and then we have to ground it here. Gonna sand that down, and then rear wheel speed sensor. Can we explain to the viewers, J Rock, what the rear wheel speed sensor is for? A lot of people, some people don't even use it. It's hard to go off the front because the wheels are spinning, so you go off the rear, and fuel tech gets to do its thing. That's why fuel tech is the it's greatest. Traction. Those of you guys at home that have a race car or some type of street car, just wire in a rear wheel speed sensor. You can even put that shit on K-Pro. Fuel, fuel tech traction control is the best. It measures the rear wheel speed and it matches it to the front wheel, then your traction control kicks on. Oh this- shit, Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Underneath this car looks great. This one I always talk about, you know, like details, you know, like it might, yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It probably took me, me and Kevin a few hours. It cost me a 
hoodie though. This hoodie was brand new, oh, brand new pants, <laughs> yo, brand new shoes, literally. You don't have all a, done. You don't have a Beijing today though. <laughs> yo, Joe, did you see? Did you see what I seen on the exhaust on the downpipe? You like yeah. that? I don't know. I don't know if I like that or. He powder coated the he flex pipe. He powder coated the flex pipe. That was wild. This shit's probably gonna flake off from how much it flexes. No flex zone. <laughs> the, I, that, the guy at powder coat asked me, he said, "You want to you want to powder coat?" I said, "Yeah, fuck it, let's try it." <laughs> well, this is pretty happy how it came out. I don't know. I don't know how long that's gonna like stay like that for. This thing looks like really good powder coated subframe, all brand new hardware. What's that? The heat temp you put on here? Heat temp black. Yeah, yeah, Cerakote. So what's left? It's pretty much fab work. We're already at a point where our part is pretty much done. I didn't want to put the interior back in the car because I don't want to mount the fuel pumps in the back and I have to drill through the body of the car and the inside. So I kind of want to leave that stuff out for now. We're going to mount the intercooler. So we got to run all the fuel lines, radiator lines, and then just wire up the fuel pump at a real speed. And that's pretty much it. And you'll be ready to go. So I think we got what? Drive shafts and we're going to do the exhaust tomorrow and then it's off to fab. Yeah, right. Maybe. I want to say a couple weeks, roughly. I think it's sooner than that, honestly. It depends on fab, how long it actually takes. But once it comes back from fab, it's just plumbing, getting a map, and then tuning, and then tearing up the streets. Good to go. I'd right? say for us, like to our race. end, maybe like one or two days worth of work, and that's pretty much it. What was the last thing you just said? You guys gonna actually race? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? Because you didn't even give me my race. So. I will give you your race before the summertime, I actually, promise. You know what? It's nice. It's no, you know what today. he did? You know what he did to me? Bro. His car's not even running. He's he took his car apart race. on purpose. We'll be running at the same time, don't no, worry. My same car. Day. I'll race you. I don't I don't know. I want to do them separate so I can put your YouTube video together. Can, can we, we get blasted in two videos instead of just one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we start with the all wheel drive car for them? Did we even show them that car yet? Show it to you guys on the dyno. <clears throat> but the car is finished, like completely finished. Did you see another head of this car yet? Uh, yes, yes and no. Were you supposed to do a proper introduction of this car? What happened? I'm just going to start it off for them and I'll do an introduction on the dyno. This is the intro for the intro then. Yes, the intro for the intro. Can't, can't show them too much. Can't show them too much? That's it? Huh? Can't show them too much? I'm gonna show it to them all on the dyno. When's this car coming up? Real soon. We're gonna be tuning probably sometime next week or this week. I meant like coming out of the shop. Oh, coming out of the yeah, shop. Yeah, I want it out of the shop. As soon as it gets, <laughs> as soon as it gets tuned. This car is pretty much ready to go. We got all four slicks for it. We're ready to go with this. Interior is finished, completely buttoned up. Got the seatbelts in, parachute on. Interior is fire. You know what would be dope? If we get all the race cars like on a highway or something together, just like I mean, who's driving what there. though? I'm driving the fastest, which is this. I'm gonna I'm, drive this. I'm car. driving on a motor car. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna be in fourth gear and mad. Thousand RPM, doing 80 miles an hour. Oh, none of these. Car Actually, this car has five gears. Everything else has four. You got six? Yeah. That's six speed. You got six speed, baby. I'll bust, I'll bust that ass even if you're in six. I'll bust that ass. You ain't busting nothing. I'll bust that. Let me know what you guys think of the car overall. It's been, we had the car for a long, long time. We started building this car, I think 2018, 2017. It's now 2023. And we built this car first when all wheel drive like first came out. So we had to like rebuild this car like three different times with new parts and new parts just came out. The thing is people are always like, oh, oh my God, you have so many cars, this and that. But you guys gotta understand, right? This stuff happens like over the years. Look at this, 2019. That's how the car was. We actually had the car before 2019. Damn. But that's when we started working on it. Damn, it's man, been a long to, he's, journey. He's trying to finish this car in two months. <laughs> it took me years. This was on the back burner though, been, honestly. We, like, it hasn't been four, years of straight working on it. It's been on the back, but this car's been on the side for like a couple of years. Like, like four or five years. Getting all the parts and you know. Yeah, so the car to paint, paint the inside, paint the engine bay, shave the bay. Then you got, uh, well, before all that, fab work. You gotta get the cage put in, parachute, set everything up how you want, put the mock-up motor in, 
the shit is just years of work that we try to put in. This Dude, was actually see these this, cars get built in like three or four episodes. This started at the house. Yeah, remember we were cut, way before you cutting in the garage. That's fucking insane. Looking at it today, we're building the car back in 2019 after the car got painted. It looks like it just got done today. But overall, like, like I said, this car got built four times because parts just come out, come out, come out. Took the transfer case out that I built back in 2019 to put all the new stuff from today in. Thank God those drive shafts came a year later. <laughs> right? <laughs> This car was planned on AEM. Yeah, it was why it was uh, all the fabric was done for AEM dash in here, and then all like the switch panel, the f ECU panel, the fuse box panel, all that stuff was all for AEM. That's why we put the carbon dash, just because you went on fuel tech. Yeah, I had to so, cut the mounts off and yeah. put the fuel tech. But yeah, that's that. My brother's car should be done in, I want to say, by the time you guys see it, maybe a month, two weeks, three weeks, whatever, waiting on the wheels to come, tires. We'll get most of the car buttoned up tomorrow. The biggest hurdle here is going to be the fab work. Mike and Paige are going to do the fab work, intercooler, pipe, all that stuff. I forgot to tell you guys the big news. What? You guys know? What's the big news? It's going off the paint, baby. No. Oh, no. man. All right, we got to... We... No. I got a message. The car didn't need a paint. I got 60,000 miles. You get a paint. Do you paint a 60,000 mile car? <laughs> Would you no. paint a 60... He, he does. <laughs> what? You know what's crazy is he thought he was going to paint it Look before we face. started assembling it. We should have just painted it there. You said it. You said you should just paint it from the start. But the car has 60,000 miles. Why would you even paint it? So it's like two builds in one now. Because we're going to have to disassemble it. You got to disassemble the whole car. It's like you finally get to hear it run. And then it's like, all right, guys, tear it apart. <laughs> when? After we get the dive. No. There's no way. You should actually just like go out, enjoy the car, do some burnouts, get some rubber all over the car, and then go get it painted. Because painting... Drop in the comments, should he paint a 60,000 mile car? I don't think so. At this point, it's not a 60,000 mile car anymore. The shell is. The chassis is 60,000 miles. But other than that, the motor's not, the suspension's not. I mean, in his defense, everything else at this point is brand new on the car. Like, look at the bottom of the car. Yo, you tell YouTube, just tell YouTube. YouTube loves Listen, you. Listen, I'm all for painting, but we'll have Kev strip it down and then reassemble it. <laughs> I'm all with it. Like, let's go. <laughs> YouTube is always with you. Just tell YouTube to tell him not to paint it. It's. Uh, I'd be saving myself by saying let's not paint it, but I'm with it, honestly. I am I think not it's just with gonna, it. Everything else is too fresh on it now. Just wrap it. 2023. No way. No, no? way. No way. Nah, we don't do those over here. Paint in a BBS sand paint job. Yeah. And I'm gonna PPF the car after. This is a race car, not a show car. It's not a, street, it's not a race car. I got. gonna be at the races. I got, it's gonna be at the, the I got full shows interior. Polishing. Full interior, full exhaust, street car for now. Yep. If you guys had a 60,000 mile house, are you guys painting it? Answer the question. They the wouldn't have stripped it. Huh? They wouldn't have stripped That's it. That's true, too. They wouldn't have. <laughs> <they wouldn't> <laughs> people who would have stripped it. Like, would you paint it then? If you were going to build this The car? last piece of the car being 60,000 miles has to come out of the car. So I'm going to put the fucking fuel tank in the car now. Yeah, we sold the cluster. I actually sold it today. Did you really? Yeah, I sold the cluster for 300 bucks. Oh. It's crazy. That's all the updates on the car. The brakes and rotors look good. The engine bay looks amazing. So we're just waiting for fab work, and that's pretty much it. And now, a whole paint job? Like well, when? When is this? He said after the dyno. Oh, the we, got, we gotta slow said, this build down. He said let me know when the car is done, you gotta take it in, so. No. The car's probably not gonna be done for at least another six months. You gotta so. watch, you gotta watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bluetooth, baby. <laughs> All right, boys, I'm gonna end this video. That's the update on the hatchback. I'm gonna try to bring guys so much more content because summertime's coming up. We still got front wheel drive turbo car, all wheel drive car is gonna be finished. It's gonna be a lit ass summer. It is, I'm gonna bust that ass real yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. I promise you guys, YouTube, I'm gonna bust his ass and I'm gonna end this video right now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video. See you guys later.